And it was a hot and hazy day across the triad today. What can we expect for the rest of the week? Let's head to Chief Meteorologist Lenny Pope. Lenny, what are you seeing right now and the rest of the week here? I'll tell you what, I do think we're going to have drier skies in our forecast, but I do think we're still going to have that gray out there. And it's not necessarily clouds, folks. It is actually a little bit of smoke that is coming from the wildfires in California. Look at the skies there in Yakinville throughout the day. That's our camera atop the Reprieve building there. I am anticipating that we'll have some sunshine, but it may be kind of a hazy, sunny sky out there tomorrow. Current temperature 69 degrees. Dew points have dropped some, and they're kind of staying low, at least for yesterday and into today. So I do think the temperatures will be comfortable at least in the morning. Right now we've got 66 in Galax, 69 in Reedsville and 71 in Ashboro as well as Lexington. Not much in the way of rain out there today. We've had at least a few sprinkles here and there, but it's been a pretty dry day. Overnight should stay dry too. Lots of clouds in the forecast. Not too terribly humid, which will make for a comfortable morning start with 60 degrees in the mountains and about 65 in the triad. You can see that front is a little farther to the south tonight, allowing a little little bit more of that cooler air to come in here, but this map actually shows you where we do have some of the smoke that is actually coming from the west coast and you can see that storm track building back all the way to the origination, which is those wildfires over California and through time that smoke is going to continue to push our way Wednesday through Thursday. So that will provide still kind of a haze out there. Particulate matter of smoke is in that moderate range. So if you are sensitive to that sort of thing. You want to limit the time you spend outdoors. This will continue through the rest of the week. It looks like with our current storm track and storm pattern. Here's our 12 hour forecast for tomorrow. With the sunshine comes the heat. Temperatures get up close to 90 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. And we're in the upper 80s in the foothills. Lunchtime temps are in the low 80s. There's also some sunshine in the forecast. I do think it's hot tomorrow. It's sunny, but we have a little bit of a breeze. So that west and northwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles an hour will make it tolerable to be outdoors. You've got 83 for a high in the mountains. This stays mainly down to our south and then we wait for Another front that may dip in here as the front kind of pushes closer to us tomorrow. I think that allows those temperatures to get up close to 90, if not a little hotter. And then another front comes in from the north and will sort of push that very humid air back to the south. So we get a little bit of a break. And I think we shave off two, three degrees as far as temperatures go in the afternoon. Now, if you are headed to the beaches, here's your forecast heading into the weekend. We have temperatures that are going to be in the mid 60s, or I should say mid 80s in the afternoon from Emerald Coast to Salter Path. We've got isolated storm chances around. Southern Coast, you've got temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Also some small rain and storm chances, but that's pretty typical in the beaches. If you're headed to the mountains, we've got temperatures in the Asheville area in the mid 80s with also some showers and thunderstorms, but shouldn't be a washout. If you're staying at home, we've got temps close to 90 Saturday and Sunday with a 30% chance for a few showers and thunderstorms.